So I, uh, I realized recently I've been making a lot of videos about um, math uh, for my math students and I haven't really been doing a whole lot for my sixth graders. So I wanted to do a little refresher. Uh, most of you should know this by now, but I wanted to put it out there. So the question is, what are the five things that all living things need, it, like would require for us to know that they're living? So think about it for a second and see if you get the same answer I do. So what'd you get? So the ones I came up with are, they have to have gas exchange, right? Humans breathe in oxygen and then we breathe out carbon dioxide. Second, we need water, right? All living things on earth need water. Third, we need energy or food. Quick question, what do you think plants use for energy? It's called the sun. What do you know about solar energy? So we get rid of waste from our bodies. That's what the bathroom is for, for humans. Um, and we need a suitable environment. So for humans, can we live in Antarctica? Sure, if we have shelter, right? We couldn't live in the straight cold. We need a certain temperature to be able to stay alive. And that's why things go dormant is because they do not have a suitable environment. For example, when you see the trees, it looks like they're dead, but they're not, right? They're sort of like they're sleeping, like it's dormant. What do we do at a dorm in college? We sleep, all right? Um, that's it. Also, a quick shout out to one of my students today. Very proud of him. Realized that and could remember that just because it's moving does not mean that it's living. Thank you, thank you, Tornadoes, for being the best example in the world that things are moving, but it's not living. It's just wind. Stay weird.